18-year-old Khalil Allen's family thinks about the could-haves, the should-haves, and the would-haves. Our entire family, we're just um, so proud of him, and it's uh, a precious gift um, Khalil had for society and the world, and it was in a blink of an eye. Gone. Now, instead of watching Khalil go off to college next month, his family's planning his funeral. We're going to have to put our lives together and, and continue on without Khalil in our life. But Khalil left us so much love. He was so kind and sweet and loving and funny. That loving and funny young man grew up playing several sports. His family says he loved to rap and act. Khalil was an athlete all through high school just about, honor student, wonderful kid. We loved him. Now Khalil's family is overcome by grief. The 18-year-old was gunned down Tuesday afternoon on West McNichols near the Southfield Freeway on Detroit's west side. Family says he was driving to get food from a nearby Coney Island. Khalil's family tells us he was rushed to a hospital and died early Wednesday morning after surgery. Stop doing this. Stop killing each other. It is nonsensical. It makes no sense. And you're cutting off just pure talent in, 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 in people's lives that could bloom and blossom. Now as Detroit police investigate, Khalil's family says they'll lean on each other and carry on his memory. As for who's responsible. Justice will come. That's what I want them to know. And I want the rest of our community to know that we have got to unite and let people understand we're not going to tolerate this no more. Detroit police continue to investigate. If you have any information, call Detroit police. I'm Veronica Meadows, Fox 2 News.